Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the first week of uh, June read start from the 1st through the 7th of June 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So let's see Virgo what is happening for you for the first week of June time. I will be adding messages from your person and fairies card as well to give you additional guidance. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the read, uh, let me remind you it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what's going to come for Virgos for the first week time. <clears throat> Justice. Wow. I feel like, you know, um, I do see balance, clarity uh, coming into your situation with your specific someone. Uh, your relationship, if it has been going through some turbulence, I feel like, you know, stability will... Uh, be back in your connection with your person uh, if there has been no communication or lack of communication I feel like you know that issue is also going to get resolved you will be getting justice in your connection with your person for some of you maybe your connection had been one-sided for quite some time if that has been the case I feel like you know the the connection is going to get mutual as well so the divine is definitely here to help you through the right a uh, path where you could have your wishes for full love life with your specific someone so if your person had been like um uh unentrusted for you know for for they had doubts or you know they had fears i feel like you know the divine is going to fill their heart up with love for you with clarity about you with clarity about their you know what what they can have with you as well so they might have been getting some uh insights and dreams about you as well where where the divine has been trying to tell them um uh, something about you as well where the divine can like you know fill their heart up with with love for you so i feel like you know the justice is definitely going to take place for you uh, especially for those of you who have invested a lot of your time and uh, energy into a specific someone, into a specific connection, you will be getting justice there. Now, if it applies to your work-life situation, um, I feel like you know your hard work, your dedication is going to get rewarded because it has been acknowledged by your higher-ups and you will be getting some sort of uh, extra reward for that. Let's see more cards here. We do have Ten of Pentacles the world a lot is going to change for you in your life in the month uh, in in the in the first week of june uh you will be getting a lot of your wishes granted in this big time i feel like you know um it's it's more like you know you are going to set the tone for the remaining month as well but this week it's it's going to bring you tremendous uh, you know positive energies in your life overall money finances love family a lot is going to shift a lot is going to be happening exactly the way that you desired um i feel like you know it's uh, it's it's more about um you getting your ideal life right now you living your ideal life right now in the in the first week of uh, june i feel like you know um you have worked towards it you have worked towards it diligently not for some of you you are manifesting it you know the justice that you wanted in your connection the the love that you would look forward to uh, you are you know manifesting that love abundance in your life in this time um i feel like you know a lot is going to change in your life in this big time when it comes to a specific someone as well and now uh, you are going to be getting um uh, your love uh that you deserved and um I feel like you know the person who is not ready to invest will be investing the person who is not ready to express they will be expressing um i feel like you know this uh this uh this change that you can experience during this week time is coming from the manifestation uh that is coming to fruition for majority of you because i feel like you know the justice that you are getting is something as a result to the justice that you did to yourself in the recent past where you might have like you know stopped indulging into a 
connection which was taking you for granted, a person that was taking you for granted, if you had done that, this justice is coming your way now. The person that you once were so madly in love with now will be madly in love with you. Because I feel like, you know, there was a decision that you made in the recent past which is getting you the reward now. The decision could have been where you chose to put an end to a situation that was making you feel unworthy and now that same situation is unfolding and it's getting you what you always wanted but you never got till you tried 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 your best around it so there has been something that you gave up on that you have surrendered upon that wish of yours is now coming to fruition with the help of divine underneath the deck we do have knight of pentacles underneath that we do have the hierophant the moon and the page of pentacles and the knight of cups i feel like you know everything is now falling into place for you and for your love life with your specific someone um I feel like, you know, the month of June overall is going to be very significant in regards to the connection that is like, you know, evolving in this uh, week time. You know, something that you always wish for, that you always crave for is now changing exactly how you always want it. But it's more like I don't see you putting any effort right now. It is the result of the efforts that you involved into uh, or that you have put into a connection before is what I'm picking up. Let's see what is the message of your person for you. What is it that your person is uh, wishing to say to you right now? I feel like you know they really want you now. They really want to be with you now. No matter what happened in the past, now they want you back. Let's see what is their message. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. They might have been in love with you since forever, just that they were not valuing you because you were not valuing yourself. Now they are, like, you know, um, telling you one thing for sure, um, that it was really hard for them to let you go, and they would never let that happen again. I want you. Now this person really does want you, and I could sense that with the, with the energies that are coming up for you. Let's see more cards here, more messages from your person. You and I were too young. So this person is right now saying that we were too young to deal with this connection before. Uh, things ended because we were immature in the way we dealt with this connection before. But now they want the things to be go in the right direction forward. I love your passion for me. So this person really enjoys getting your your love and attention and i feel like you know as you detach or separated yourself from this person they can sense that they have missed you and that they want you and they need you as well um let's see more messages from your person um i love daydreaming about you so i feel like you know let's see the last i know i was a distraction from your pain i feel like you know this person had been like you know blaming and complaining as well around this connection that you had but then but as you detached or pulled away, they stopped like, you know, blaming you for things because they could look within and find out where they were like, you know, being um, uh, protective of their own feelings and why they couldn't see their, lo uh, their love for you before because they were trying to suppress it. They were trying to suppress their feelings for you. But with this decision that you recently took around it, around this person, uh, has made this person want you more. And I feel like, you know, that's the reason why your love life is changing like never before. And that too suddenly, because I feel like, you know, the shift in them is coming out suddenly. Um, it, it, it must have been like, you know, um, less than a month time since you, uh, you know, changed yourself about this person or you, you change your attitude towards the way you were looking at things with this person. You chose to do justice to yourself and stopped chasing this person and now this person wants you badly um so i feel like you know this week is going to be amazing when it comes to this connection that you have with a specific someone because you will be getting your wish granted by them now let's see what is the fairy guidance for you for this week time let's see <clears throat> This, is, this week is definitely going to set the tone for the remaining month for you when it comes to your specific relationship with this person. Let's see the Oracle Guidance. Ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask angelic assistance. Now for those of you who are still trying to manifest something with your person and you haven't seen your fruition, I feel like you, know, you need to seek guidance from heavens around it. Maybe there is something, you know, that you are not doing right right now. Even if like, you know, we are trying to manifest something, what we do is we lose our faith. And if we lose our faith, the manifestation does not take place. Now with this energy here, I feel like, you know, for majority of you workers, you have 
you know worked on that faith more than on your fear and that's the reason why you are seeing your manifestation coming to fruition for majority of you you took that major decision of separating yourself from this person until they could give in to the connection and that's the reason why you are enjoying the fruit of your hard work fruit of your labor fruit of your desire that you wanted to manifest for yourself that's the reason why you are having it because you believed in the divine you know and uh, you you gave up on the connection because you felt like you know divine is going to bring uh, them in a beautiful way forward to me that's exactly what is happening your faith is going to bring you this person back to you if you are still struggling try doing this and trust me this person will be coming back to you begging for your love begging for your time because they love you and they love your passion nobody can love them the way you do so i feel like you know it's it's obvious but just that your person is uh, very protective of your uh, of their feelings and they don't want to get hurt so um they will open up if and when they feel that they have to so i feel like you know you've got to make them feel that they have to to let them come up front about their feelings so uh use this to to make them uh you know come to you give you what you desire with them so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe and uh, until i do the next read for you guys take care bye